damn, it's good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, yeah, this car is so much better than the ones in the 1930s. And also, can we talk about the car? Like, look how nice this thing is. This is the type of cars I love driving. The classics, you know. And honestly... What do you got, an aversion to red lights? Why are you worried about me going through the red lights for? Aren't we gangsters? All right, let me behave because there's a cop here, apparently. Are we really obeying the traffic rules because the cops right there? I guess we are. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit the notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. Oh yeah, I prefer these types of cars. And also, when am I gonna get like better outfits, new outfits? Maybe I just wanna look good. I've been in prisons for how many years? It's time for me to just spread All my right, wings. This is close and... enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey. The entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate Aww. it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy okay. yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Nice. Bye. I'll see you. Man, oh man. So this is my place? Oh, he's following me. Okay, sure. Alright, so let me see how good my... My little home is so your new apartment is on the top floor why not i definitely need to do a little bit of exercising okay here we are i'm sure you'll find it to your liking i live in a similar apartment myself who are you as you can see it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge and wow. here's the bathroom clean and modern with all the hot water you could ever want Ooh, look at that. Okay. This is a nice... Well, the top's dirty, and sir. The master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. Excuse and it doesn't me? squeak. Always a plus in my book. Yo, look at the foundation. Look at the walls. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If this apartment... If you any questions, feel free to ask. Just one yeah. question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Skedaddle. Shoo. Damn. No, no, I'm going to close this door. Thank you. Oh, look at me looking all cute and stuff. Okay, so this apartment reminds me of Bridgeport. Wow, okay. Um, hmm, interesting. I was not expecting full frontal nudity on that one. But you know what? I like that. I want to recreate that with my lady, for sure. Okay, so at this point, let me see what outfits I have here. Leather jacket. The suit. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take this. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let me go ahead and close my door here. Are you good? Is your new, um... I really hope this guy shows up soon. I've got a lot on my plate today. And the housing market is booming. Ah, okay. Cool, so I expect maybe another ex-con on the works. 
What's this one? Oh, okay. You know what? I really do want to recreate some of these pictures with my girlfriend. That would definitely be nice. Okay. What? Oh, a baby. Aw, someone attend to that baby, please. I don't like it when that baby is just crying. Okay, so the garage is on the left around the corner. Is that my car? Hold on. Garage? Ooh, that's a nice car! Okay, the taxi. Ooh. Wow. Okay, this one. Oh, look at this car! This car is nice! Wow, okay. So, let's go. This is the classic 1930s car. I can tell. Hurry up, lady! Hurry up and cross! Thank you. Oh, shit. Sorry. I, I, I forgot. I gotta take it easy, because I'm not trying to crash. Especially not with, with this beauty right here. You know what? I am gonna go and get a nice outfit, though. Ooh, I almost hit that pole. Because the thing is, yeah, I got this nice suit, but I want something different. Something that really screams out me, you know? Hey. Good morning. Morning. I'm looking for a nice seat. Do you have any for if me? If you like what you see, let me know. What? No, I just... I, I want... Uh, I actually want a nice suit. Yeah, I want a suit. Fits you perfect. I hope it looks good. Nice! Oh yeah, I'll take this. This is beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate it. Take now, and come again. I will, thank you. Now I can say that I actually own a suit. And this is a classic right here. Alright, let me back up slowly. Because I'm not trying to scare anyone. And then let's skedaddle. Come on. I gotta get me a 1950s car. Because this 30s model here ain't it. The handling on this machine alone is just so horrendous. It's like when I try to turn, I'm like praying for dear life. Ah, uh, shut up! What you gonna do? Call the cops on me? You ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing. Okay, so the place should be around this corner, right? Yep, Joe's place. Got it. Not too far from my place. And I should be here. Alright, Joe. I got a nice suit for the party, so no complaints. That's all I have to say. Let's go. I wonder how much rent was back in the day. I bet it was like 50 bucks the most, or even 100. I wonder how much that would translate to... Ooh. Are you okay? Sir, are you good? Nah, he's passed out. I'm gonna let him be. Joe! There you Jeez, are. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not nah, bad. Bro. Nice material. Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. Nice. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, Say uh, less, you I got you. Added, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh... Funny business in the can. What do you mean by that? By that? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. Okay, fine. Tell me in the car. Let's go. Come on. 
Wait a minute, are we going to a strip club? All right, let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Oyster Bay? Okay, all right. Oyster Bay, I assume Wait, that's some Vito. sort of a what was dock? The one thing you missed the most when you was in a game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. What's Boy, a cat house? not too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. A strip club, I knew it. Do it. They'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Oh, now, my. You know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? I'm trying, but, you know, the cop's right there, and I'm not trying to get a speeding ticket. But anyways, they're gone. So, a strip club is also called a cat house. I've never heard of that term before. Well, that's pretty cool. And also, it's not my first time going to a strip club. In fact, I've been to one before back in my early 20s. It was really fun. Um, it was a company work trip. And yes, you heard it correctly. A company outing back when I used to work for Comcast. But it was more like door-to-door uh, -door sales. So since we were that team with the most sales, the boss decided to treat us to some strip club in Massachusetts, and that's where we had a lot of fun that night. Good times indeed. They were charging that much. They're gonna have to answer for their sense soon. Okay. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Are yeah. you good? Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, you do. What is going oh, okay. on? yeah. Oh, hell no. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. That's crazy. I'm I work done. for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Hey, yo, sure. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. I can't believe that he was getting head right then and there in front of everyone. Reckless. Reckless! Who's this? No. <laughs> Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> wow, everyone's having fun. That's cute. Uh, really? Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> Ew, really? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, <sighs> yeah, let's go. Uh, hey, get up, Yeah, Joe. before you go and punch someone. <laughs> Look at Joe. Joe is faded. <laughs> what? Hey, oh, oh, I'm... I'm going home. <laughs> Good night, you whores. All right, let's go. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush.
Yo, he is twisted. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Come on, uh, get in, bro. Uh, hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all. Yeah, us. cause both of y'all are yeah. hot mess. I'm not gonna lie. Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> all right, are you gonna get in or not? Come on. I don't have all night here, especially with babysitting you both. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're faded. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with them. Poor Vito. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell? Did that? did one of y'all take oh, a yeah, shit I'll in the car? Oh Must hell be no! Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Nah, nah, he's in a trunk. He's what? 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 Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Are you dead ass? There's a dead body in the trunk? Business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk. Yeah, man, that's crazy as hell. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. hey calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. Like what? What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. Are you serious? You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? <laughs> yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And okay. Hurry it up, will you? God, How you... I need some fresh air. How are you going to rush me? Fucking killing me. So who told you to put the dead body in the trunk then? What? Tell me to rush? Man. Some nerve. Some nerve. Seriously. I can't. And I know it stinks really bad. I bet it smells worse than shit. Oh, stop. Now, I'm gonna hurl. Are you gonna hurl? Okay. Go. Are you? Oh, that's nasty. Ooh. Are you good? Jesus, where's this shit coming from? Oh shit! Whoa, I don't remember eating calamari. Just hurry up and get in the car, man. <laughs> Can't hold your booze, can you? It's a good thing I stopped, because I was not in the mood to clean up his vomit either. This is insane. We're over here trying to have a good time. Meanwhile, a dead body is rotten in the trunk of the car. I can't even. I really can't even. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to scratch your car. Wait a minute, I think I remember this place. Isn't this the area where the doctor lives? I could have sworn this is the same spot where I took one of the Clementes guys because he got shot. I, I wonder if the doctor still lives here. Yeah, in that house, I remember. Okay. Wow, small world, am I right? Alright, let's go. Small world where I actually passed by the doctor's house. That is so hilarious. And now we're right behind a cop. And I do want to speed past the cop, but at the same time, I'm not really in the mood to get chased by them either, so... I guess I'll, what, behave and drive? Good, alright, awesome. Now I can speed, let's go. So, the observatory. Supposedly there's a hole already dug up, so all we gotta do is go over there, throw the body in the hole, cover it up, bada boom bada bang, that's it. But then again, is it really that's it? Because I have a good feeling by the time we get there, something crazy will happen and we're gonna need to like skedaddle or shoot or even 
have to like escape somehow without getting caught, you know? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, the gate! It was locked! What do you want me to do? Oh, I hope I didn't damage the car too bad. Ooh. Alright. Okay, we're here. car's good. <clears throat> Alright, let's go, Leo, let's do this. Pop the trunk. Is that Ugh. a joke? Oh, that's great. Shit. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> Great, now I have to do all the work, because these two drunk guys can't even do shit. Damn it, no shoes. Jesus Christ. How bad's the body? Oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. Couple You're gonna have to get him days. out of there if you don't... Oh, come oh, that's on. That's just great. I can't handle the smell. Yeah, I bet you can't. Misses. Oh, uh, the rigor morris. Ah. The leaking oh. fluids. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump oh, nice. How are you gonna get out? <laughs> oh, he dead, huh? dead. Ah, finally, done. <sighs> okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, Who's gonna I bury to him? Hold of myself. Can you just do it? Oh, Every come time I gotta on. wait for the guy makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Oh, so much work, bro. I hate both of y'all. Y'all hey, suck. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? How about no? Because we're not trying You've to get caught. be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be the part of your homecoming the party, the but it's nice out here, ain't it? Oh, well, shut up. In the woods for a while. Yeah. Joe, Don't shut up. It's so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Are we done? The hole covered? Yeah, we we should be good. Okay. Anyways, hopefully the car doesn't stink anymore. Man, this is crazy. Why? You guys kidding me with this? All right, I guess we're singing. Oh my God, poor Dino. You guys are just out of your minds, I can tell. Look at you guys, all happy. That's cute. Do you even know the lyrics to this song? I guess you do. <gasps> Ooh, I am so sorry. Really? There's more to it? I'm mad he said solo one. Ooh, and I crashed. I crashed again. I'm not good at this. I really am not. He said solo one, solo two. What a mess. He need to stop. And now they're passed out. Can I turn off the radio? Come on. Thank you. Finally. 
Ah, and peace and quiet, am I right? And these two knuckleheads are knocked out too, so... Nice, I'm happy. Wait a minute, is this the spot where I actually had to steal those documents from? Holy cow, that's crazy! Yeah, this is bringing me back so many memories, I'm not gonna lie. So many memories of what I've done within, what, 10 years ago? Then again, you know who I really miss? Mom. I can't believe she died while I was locked up. I can't really get over that. I wonder, I wonder if Vito has a big, big, big amount of grief and resentment towards that. Because honestly, Clemente, he's dirty for that. How are you going to have me do your deed and then when I get busted and go to jail, you just don't really help, you know? I just feel like that's just bull. All right. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? No, but it's thanks. not. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. Really? I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? You're gonna Let's drink some more? Morning. Shut the hell up! Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! We'll you had enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. <laughs> get to Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Thanks. Good night. Good night. That is some night, I give you that. Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine! Jesus! Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Who the hell is harassing <laughs> me now? Sorry, Joey. Then stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Great. Jesus Christ. I can't even... I can't even sleep in peace. Ooh, look at those pictures. You know, I'm not gonna lie, those pictures gives me a whole bunch of inspiration to do a nice, cute little photo shoot, for sure. Alright, so, first of all, I love how he leaves his bread out in the open. He hasn't washed his dishes. Oh my god, the stove is nasty! What a pick. Okay, what's for... Ooh, beer? Cola? Ham and cheese? Yo, he ate that within two bites. But then again, if my girl watches this video, she will be like, Yeah, you do the same. Whatever. Nothing like a good old Coca-Cola. Right? Am I right? Alright, so. Hold on. Let me see. Toilet's okay. I just love the sound effects of the toilet. That is so funny. Faucet. I mean, at least he has toothbrush and toothpaste and soap. Nice. Alright, let me stop wasting water. Phone? Is there a way for me to, like, actually call numbers here or no? Oh, I don't. I have to have a number to call, so... Alright, classic uh, leather jacket it is. And, alright, I'm ready to go. So let's see what these guys want from me. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.